Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my quick bomb review of the Synergy Mod 12 on the LG G3. So this one will give you actually the best performance um, in comparison to the stock experience. So the stock Lollipop ROM is really crap, I guess, because it's very laggy and uh, sometimes it force closes stuff. And yeah, don't recommend you to use the stock firmware uh, for this phone and a video playing in the background and I just have to stop it. Yeah, let's go. What the fuck? So yeah, let's go on with this video actually and I will show you the about phone section because I have something interesting there like Sanager Mod updates. You can go for that, but that's not the most, most, um, amazing part of this phone section here about phone section the kernel version i actually installed another kernel which is the 777 john kernel for AUSP roms i will give you the link in the description so what this does is it will give you amazing performance um, the phone is super fast and will get scores around 43,000 points in a tutu benchmark 43,000 points is between the OnePlus One and the HTC One M8. On my Facebook page, which you can access from the description below, um, I can post a screenshot uh, from the result itself. I will run another test and I will post the result. Uh, yeah, Galaxy S5, you can see here, it's a little bit uh, more down below. Uh, so yeah, you will find your phone, the G3, between one plus one and the HTC One M8. Um, here is the original LG G3, which was meant to be here, but it's a little bit funny that it's um, slower than the Google Nexus 5. Um, I installed uh, a kernel tweaker app. And you can see here, but I don't want to go in depth here because it's ROM review and not a kernel review. You can see you can change a lot of stuff like CPU parameters. I actually don't get the overclocking to work uh, maybe some of you guys know the answer to my problem uh, i just select the frequency then i go to uh, set on boot here i don't know why it's not working but maybe you guys can help me in the comment section below um, it's getting a little bit dark in here but whatever let's go on with the with the settings um, settings you can change a lot of stuff in Synergy mod it's not that customizable like other roms like bliss pop or a resurrection remix but uh, still there are some options i want to show you the clock style of course you can change to for example left i've done that as you can see here on the top left is my clock, the battery circle, I've also enabled that. Uh, as you can see here, maybe the camera will focus. Yeah, you can see it, 42%. And with the new kernel, the battery life will also get a little bit better. And brightness control is also available. As you can see here, you can slide the status bar here but i like to have it disabled show notification count is also need to have and let's go to the buttons real quick buttons uh buttons and layout as you can see i have added edited them mm, i've also included a search icon here so you can do a lot of stuff here. You can also go for another empty uh, a menu key here, but we don't need that. Now cancel and save. Uh, go back to settings real quick. Um, uh, yeah, theme, uh, theme section is very big. In Synergy Mod, of course, the theme engine. Uh, theme engine. Mm, I've installed a very good theme, the Solid Alpha. Maybe I will make a review of it uh, soon. It's um, For me, it's the best theme so far. It has the muted um, red color here, which I like very much, and the themed 
icons in the whole UI, like the settings icon and the status bar right here. And you can see that's also uh, a weather, like a small weather widget in here, I can show you how to enable it if you want to. Um, just go, let's get a little bit more brightness here. Uh, notification drawer uh, and uh, make sure you have enabled show weather if you want to have it. I don't want to have it, so I disable it. Quick pull down from the right is also possible. So you directly uh, get to your uh, notification toggles there. Um, select order and tiles. You can also change that. Uh, brightness slider, advanced location settings. There's also a performance. Um, settings menu here, but you can only change the I/O scheduler, um, and you can set it on boot. Um, so that's the only uh, performance thing you can change here. The other stuff you can change in the kernel tweaker app. So yeah, great ROM, great kernel, and I highly recommend you to use CyanogenMod 12 on the LG G3. It's the performance is it's, it's like night and day between between the um, stock experience, the Lollipop ROM, and the Sanjay Mod 12. Um, and yeah, when uh, when there's 5.1 for this phone, I I'll also do a quick review on the ROM itself. And uh, yeah, have fun with your phone. Uh, by the way, this is the D855 variant. Uh, the gold version with 2 gigabytes of RAM, not the 3 gigabyte model with 32 gigabytes of storage. This is 16 gigabytes of storage and it runs perfectly smooth on Synergy Mod 12. And yeah, that's it for this video. And um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up if you want to. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, by the way, you will find the kernel in the description and also the ROM thread on XDA. Peace.